Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. Do you guys want to know what was in that chest? I just got done escaping after I picked it up and I barely made it out alive once again. That that room with the four chests or however many there was in that room, um, <clears throat> that was the hardest room on purpose. They knew what they were doing. Um, so, what was in that chest? Well, an antidote. Gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. You, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me, man. Uh, whatever. Oh crap, where the hell are we supposed to go back to? We gotta take the, uh, ooh, back to the, huh? Wasn't there a town? Wasn't there like a petrification problem? The Allschlein, that, that's what it's called. <clears throat> Who, um, anyone else? Be oh no, no, Rune left with a uh, measurements guy. We're done, we're done with the uh, Koala Bear Village here. Goodbye, Koala Bear Village. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get back through this cave. The Valley Maze. Oh, oh. Yeah, why don't we fight the, uh, pussy toads? Is that what they're called? What are they if I ran into a toad or whatever that size, I would freak out. Like, look, look, you just saw their bodies, like, right up to them, you know, slash and, slash and dash. <clears throat> they're, like, as tall as the toads. So these, these toads are, like, five foot something, something like that. Hey, four feet, three feet, I'd be scared. Dude, one foot. I'd be like, whoa, what is up with that? I mean, come on. Good, level up, please. I need it. Um, yeah, this game can be, uh, this game can be crazy, I have a feeling. Yeah, man, if I came into contact with some, if I ran into these things out and about in the fields, you know, with my field runnings, I'd be like, oh, ah! and I would book the hell out of there. I don't care what kind of sword I had. People can carry guns freely in society. Well, some society. Where, where do you live? Maybe not where you live. <clears throat> but it, it, it all depends on the... Here in my United States. Okay, we're learning stuff. It all depends on uh, the state. Different states, different gun laws. And without getting into my preferences of or not my preferences, without getting into my opinions on all that. That's not what this is about. This is about, <clears throat> forget the guns, you know, but you can carry guns and walk walk about in society. What if, what about swords, you know? I mean, they're kind of obsolete in ways, right? But you never see a guy, my point is, you never see a guy walking around with a sword anymore, do you? And why? You see, there's people with guns walking around still. I, I need my gun. You know, I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven and buy a Slurpee. I really need to to bring my gun with me because this is America. And oh no, my 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 um <laughs> my opinions might be leaking out on on the subject matter. But anyway, uh, if you can go out and have your gun, why why can't I just? I, I want a sword, man. You know, I'm gonna go online and buy uh, Cloud's Buster Sword, strap that on my back and go out. Why the hell not? Hey, hey there, man. You got your gun holstered onto your belt there, Buster. Why can't I have my Buster Sword, Buster? I don't, I don't get it, you know? Whatever, man. And you know what? Oh, well, Grizz has a cape, kind of, cloak cape thing. The, uh, oh, I kind of almost have this is kind of an interesting hoodie right now I kind of have like an extra like ooh, 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 walking you know we need to bring back the, the the cape while we're at it too I want to carry my sword and cape around but then again you do see that in society they're called uh, they're called conventions you know especially anime ones uh, am I going the right way through this place <laughs> Uh, the last, oh, the last convention I was at was, oh man, that just reminded me, there is a small convention coming up 
wow, a couple weeks in my area. Very small. Um, you know. But still, it could be fun. Yeah, I need to. As soon as I'm done recording this part, and hopefully I don't forget. Hey, guys, in case I forget after this part, leave me a comment and say, Dave, don't forget about that local convention in your area. Just one person, leave me that comment. And then... I'll, I'll let you know. I'll respond to you and be like, oh my god, dude, I did forget. I'm like, nah, thanks. Thanks, I remembered though. But I'll let you know. I'll respond to one of you. If multiple people say something. So, uh... No, what? I don't even remember what it's called. Zolocon? It's just a very small kind of thing. I think like a toy kind of... I don't even know. I haven't been to one yet. But the last convention I was at, you know, I, I like my conventions. They're fun, you know, man? Uh, they're fun. They're fun stuff. You know, I've been to a couple of the big bot cons and all that. You know, I've been to a power con in California. Um, I want to go to a Wizard World. Wizard World does all that stuff throughout the United States here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they come to Philly, they do Wizard World Philly. Did we want to go back to Krupp? So I need to, I need to go to that one once and for all this coming, uh, year. But the last one I was at was RetroCon, which is, it's cool, very good one too. Han? It's Han! You've come home! I don't think we were meant to come back to Krupp. Oh, one thing. No, no, I rested. Let's make sure. 8776. Grease is the one at six, and yet... Ooh, let's look at his equipment, dude. He has to have some mighty armor. I'm gonna... That's abbreviated for... <laughs> cranberry. Cran, his cranberry suit. He's got his cranberry suit and his cranberry shield. We need to get some more cranberry stuff. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Now we know. All right. But then, what do the others have? Because they suck. Oh, they got the cranberry suit and shield, titanium crown. What's going on, man? Er, um, no, this isn't, this is the equipment I have. That's the, am I right? There's nothing on, I think. I guess there's nothing to put on. Well, she does, she has the two weapons, so it makes sense with her, her defenses. 18, I can, I can improve that, but then I, I would remove one of her slashers. What would go on, what is it, like, a, an accessory, a ring, a gauntlet kind of thing? That's always on the end, after all, right? Um, and he's got his two-handed thing going on, too, with the steel sword, the heavy sword. <clears throat> 17, yeah, 18, 17, Han is 21. Hunter knives. Hmm. He's got the. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because I was looking at the wrong thing. Now that I'm going back, uh, titanium mail. That's that's the that must be and the helmet. Those were what was helping him, and that's what I need to get. Going back to him now. Uh, now I know. So where do I get it? The other day, there was a tremendous amount of smoke coming from the west. I wonder if there was a big fire somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think I meant to help the people. Now, let's go here then, and if we ha if we see the titanium stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it does show who can equip it with the arrows, but it's not like equipped one, inventory three, so, the game is old. What did it say in the intro? 1993? This is, this is Fantasy Star 4, though. Man, I can't recall. It can't be... Oop, I'm out of, I'm out of frame here. Oh, it can't be... Hey, guys, how you doing? It can't be um, newer than, like, 93 era. Around there. Around there, yeah. Because Fantasy Star 4, 1994, Final Fantasy uh, 6, I'll just say, 1994, you know, come on, man. Not to, not to put you down, game, man, you know? Sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe we're meant to help here. Oh, yes, Molcom, that was it. And obviously they're playing the, oh, trouble music. 
So I bet a cutscene is about to happen. Oh. Hmm. Welcome. You stop wasting time. Now, if you don't have any experience with, you know, playing a game like this before, like I have not, you know, like I've said, you, you're going to be doing, uh, yeah, there's no map, this is an older game, um, you're going to be doing some trekking, trying to figure some stuff out, dude. If I play this game a couple times, be like, oh, we gotta go back to Achim for Achim. Oh, yeah, Achim for Achim, of course. We gotta go back to Achim for Achim and uh, help the people. Oh, God. And that's unfortunate because I don't want to make this just a part of wandering. So, like, these are very easy enemies right now. I'm like, oh, let's not waste more time. Uh, yeah, yeah, we get it. You're dragonflies. Oh, Zima. Okay, yes! This has to be it. Oh, oh. Why, it's you, Han! By golly! This is some place! There are just tons of relics from an earlier civilization. All over the place! You've come at the right time. You too! Professor Holt! This is no time for that kind of thing! Do you know you were turned into stone by Zeo? Hmm? Oh, really? Well, here I am now, as good as new, so not to worry. <laughs> Alright, let's reopen the investigation immediately! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Han! Yes, sir! Go back to the academy! Give them a report on the state of affairs here. Uh, yes, sir. Good. We're off. We're off further into Birth Valley. What a strange old man. Oh well, at least we've settled one problem. I'm so sorry. He didn't even say a word of thanks. Well, he's just that kind of guy. Oh, don't worry about that, Han. Well, I'm kind of tired after getting this job done. Let's take it easy today. Eh, Chaz? Okay. Now what? Uh, I'm going to return to the Academy as I drink my cup of coffee. Ha <laughs> ha! I've got to report about what's happening till now. Okay. Uh, what about Grizz? You talking about me? I'm, sure, I'm trying to figure out how, how do you think Grizz would sound like? Would it be like uh, a real kind of badass sounding tough guy? Like like low deep voice guy? I really can't get a vibe off of like who he would be now. And you know, back in the day, all a kid had, man, with these 16-bit games was their imaginations, man. And you get to kind of make up a voice. If, if Like here I am speaking the voice and like, it's not, it's not about that. It's about the voice you hear in your head and you might you might take a voice from something you've heard, uh, like in a movie or in um, a cartoon, you know, back in the day. Like, you're watching old classic. Like, you're watching um, 80s, 90s old, like, t turtle cartoons, right? And you hear, like, um, Rob Paulson's Raphael, or you hear, um, I don't know, man. You, you hear some, any voice, like, yeah, I'm drawing a blank, but you hear, like, a voice, and you take that voice that you hear from an actor in, like, a cartoon or whatnot, and then you just throw it into a random video game that you're playing because you're a kid, and you gotta use your imagination for that kind of thing. So, like, what kind of person is Grizz, you know? Is he just, uh, I'm, I'm stone cold and I'm serious, or is he like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm a big, I'm a gentle giant kind of guy. I don't know, man. I don't know. But... He's saying, I'm going off to conquer Zeo, even if that means me alone. Let's not be so rash. I don't care whether it's rash or not. I've already made up my mind, and I'm going back and forth because I can't, I can't make up my mind. <sighs> In my head, I can't make up my mind. We've come to a good break point. What, with one job done? Normally at this junction, we would go back to the town of Ideo, where the guild is located. Ah! 
What was that? Someone's screaming. How are we going to get in with that creature blocking the way? We'll have to destroy it! Now? Huh. Okay. <clears throat> this is serious time here. We're going to do command stuff then. Um, oh, I have no potions, which is a big help. Like, I guess I did have op I did have opportunity, I think, to do something like that. But that's uh, no, no, no. Go back. Okay, that's the back button. Jesus, X for me. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's take this battle seriously then. So what's the difference between, this is like an ice, this is like a fire thing, or... What is the difference between these types of spells? That's what I wonder. This doesn't have much. Vortex. And, and they're different for, like, these characters. TSU was an attack, I remember. Antidote, Water, Galoon, I don't remember what that one was. Vision. I can't, I can imagine what that might be. Be. Crash. Bros. I feel like bros. Bru bruise would be something very powerful. Yeah, staring is up. Wait, what did that do? What, what? What did that last one do? And there's another monster now. <clears throat> All right, let's try more. I'm not a fan of the names of these spells. Like, Earth, I gotcha, I getcha. <laughs> oh man, hey Grizz, you know what I just noticed? You don't have a lot of TP. I think, uh... Hmm. Agility's up. It's not like it's a waste. Galoon, attack voucher. You see, I can't remember that kind of stuff. Galoon, it's too random sounding, you know? Alright, let's just do some attacking here now. <laughs> Goodbye, little cronies. Has this boss even attacked me yet? Is it now, Lise? Well, it's a little better now. It's a curse! It's because we violated the sacred area that something like this is happening! A curse? I wonder what's further inside. What's going on? The professor is still in there! Ah! Er, uh, Elise? I'll keep it to 1,000, Mista. M my wedding fund! Remember her fees. Damn, Elise. Oh no, no more dungeon kind of. S oh, the Birth Valley. I am not prepared for this, dude. I'm really not prepared for this at all. At all, dude. Wait, wait have we been in. Was this the first place? And these are the little poop, poop dudes. They suck. Okay, maybe I'm not that intimidated now. Well. Wow. For now. Um, cause yeah, I saw an open chest, and these enemies were the little poop dudes. I can vaguely remember. This is where we were way, uh, way in the beginning. Okay, little poop dudes, come on then, you know? Cannot escape! One, 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 two. Poop dudes! Can we waste my time? Fine, poop dudes. I mean, they're, it's like pulsating ball sack dudes, really. How you guys doing? Man, it's so Genesis-y sounding at some t at some points at some times. Like the uh, fanfare little thing that they play after, it just has this Genesis quality. Kind of reminds me of um, 
like playing Streets of Rage when you clear a level or yeah, it, it has that Sega Genesis. You cleared the the level, you cleared the stage kind of vibe to it. You totally, totally relate to what I'm saying. Yeah, man, totally that feeling. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, let's do it again with the little B things. Da -da 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 -da. Area two. <laughs> Doing Streets of Rage right now, of course you can tell. I mean, of course you can tell. <laughs> yeah, it sounds just like it. See, to me, it sounds just like it to me, because in my head, I'm hearing the actual music, and I'm just going. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys prefer going da da or do you go doo doo? Or, or something else, you know, or ba ba da ba 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 ba. There's ba's and there's. I don't know, what else is there? Oh no! Ah! The monsters from the depths are. <laughs> Professor Holt has gone into the depths and has not returned! Maybe it's too late! No! And I bet it's tougher down there. Ugh. I'm getting like a Mega Man vibe out of this music right here. This is a cool place. Yikes, what's that? I'm digging this area. This looks really cool. It also kind of has an old school Final Fantasy IV type vibe, you know, like Tower of Babel. We, we're going to die! Stop cowering! I agree. Men are such cowards. Whoa, hey, don't do that. Why don't you calm down there? It's nothing. I, I like her character, though. But sometimes she is just too much. Ugh. That, that's true. But I will say blonde guy and brown-haired guy kind of do... They do suck. Rune was cool. Uh, Grizz is cool, because, I mean, come on. He's a koala bear guy with a green cape. So he's got to be cool. Follow the yellow brick glowing line. Where's Robo from Chrono Trigger? Is he gonna pop out? Oh man, very futuristic. Oh, this is, this is the best area we've been in. This is, this is really pulling me in. I gotta tell you, I, I'm just, it has such a Final Fantasy IV vibe. Oh, I'm liking this. The backgrounds look so cool. And I've probably mentioned this. I know I've mentioned this, but while I like the, left to right battle more you know than the behind to front looking at the back of our characters heads kind of thing I, li I like the left to right more the classic kind of Final Fantasy look however and you know I'm not a big fan of the ABC I, I do love how the enemies do little movements you know and in the old Final Fantasy uh, games, they didn't really do movements. There was like flashes and uh, there were certain movements, you know, sort, because that's what that is, sort, sort, ha, ha, and that kind of stuff. And then, you know, using the, the magic, wow, wow, wow. But the enemies didn't really do too much movements. Um, you know, there's like, ha, and then there's, ha, and, you know, especially the enemies, the, the, the enemy movements was a very nice thing. This is probably the best track we've, uh, I think we've heard in this game thus far. Thus far. Oh, isn't this nice? Stop wasting time. There's nothing here. I'm a leaf. Ah, ah, I'm grumpy all the time. Ah. Um, it's just me. These, um, oh, well, actually, they, well, no, they, they pack a punch on, like, everyone but Grizz. A uh, Grizz. Grizz, Grizz, Grizz. Because of, Grizz has the equipment, man. Grizz, are you gonna leave us? See, I have no idea. I would take off the good stuff and put it on someone else. Oh, and the problem is, oh, I have no items. This has such a Capcom Mega Man theme going. Am I right, or do you just like, I mean, give me your opinion on that one, because dude, it's just like, it is just singing Mega Man to me. So yeah, this is the coolest area so far. I'm, I'm sick of the caves and like underground cave stuff. This has like cool futuristic, like all the lights are flashing, things are kind of moving. This looks like it would be a big monitor that would turn on. I 
don't want to retreat, but here's the thing. I think I have to retreat soon, guys. Uh, let's open this. Pure Paral... P paralysis? Like, if that's short for paralysis, it's just, that makes no sense. You know, in a way. How strong are these? Oh, I see. Are we gonna die again? That's the question. Well, I think we can take him. Hey, you deserve it. Oh, it's just so awesome. This is a really cool area, and an area that I actually am looking forward to. You know, off the clock, I really would like to level up. I hope to go back up topside. Um, you, you gotta get some items, and uh, I don't know about upgrading uh, equipment and stuff like that, though. I, I, I'm just not sure. But I think we need a lot of of items. And where the hell are the life potions? Any advice you would like to give me uh, at this juncture, that, that would be a help, yeah. But I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. Oh, and it kind of pisses me off. This is kind of a cool area. But frank, frankly, like, I, I would need I gotta get my act together. I'm I'm not gonna make it out of this place. I barely made it out of the last place. I gotta I gotta get it together, man. And repeat. Yep. Good stuff. Calling it a wrap here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, guys, you can follow me on my social media, including my Patreon. The links are in the video description below. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Fantasy Star 4. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.